Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I wanna share with you three different methods, the classical method, the country method, and the banjo-ish method for adding open strings to your soloing. This is really, really fun, and even though open strings are banal, uh, you can add a lot of sophistication and tension to your soloing by using open strings. You can utilize them. They're a very, very important tool to add to your toolbox. So the classical method is the simplest, but you can create really interesting sounds with that. Um, let's take the E minor scale on the E and B strings. On the E string, it's 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. And on the B string, it's the same thing, only one instead of two. So 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. And the idea is to pull off each note you play back to the open string, using the open strings as pedal notes. Okay? Look at this. This is the classical way. Now, you can complicate a little bit by combining the strings. Okay, and then you get... Okay, both open strings. Okay, but it's still a little bit too static, so you can start adding um, double pull-offs. You can do 12, 10, 0. Okay. And you get uh, another interesting sound. Now, I'm not saying do it all the time, just showing you a tool you can use to add to your soloing. Remember, this is a tool you add it every now and then to spice up your music. Okay, so try it all over the scale. Okay. And you can start combining. Yeah, it's a little bit messy. Rather than it sounds a little bit blues, bluesy here. Right. Now the next step would be to actually play a solo and add the open strings in between the legs. Now, I'm still pulling off to open strings every now and then, but I'm, um, I'm putting more time and effort into actually playing licks. But I always play open strings in between. See? And basically, all I'm doing is playing snippets of the scale and adding open strings in between. That's all I'm doing. It sounds really sophisticated, but it's actually very, very simple to play. See, I was trying to slow it down, but it sounds, uh, it sounds a lot better when it's in full speed. It, um, you jump from low notes to high notes all the time, and that creates the sophistication. Now, um, one extra uh, one extra tidbit that I can that I can add here is that you should use a backing track for this uh, and just have some sort of uh, chord progression in E minor. Otherwise, it all sounds in the same the same tonality because of the open strings and you don't want that you want to try the open strings on different chords to see the tension that you get i'm just showing you the method you take this and try your own soloing now the um, the banjo method takes this and adds the third string into it and then you can get different different banjo rolls 
See? So, nine on the third string. And you can hammer on eight to nine. Okay? And you try um, to variate between two open strings and one open string. Just try different things. Um, I, I kind of changed the key here, but but this is this is the idea. Well, you can be bluesy if you like, but the idea is to get used to playing open strings to spice up your soloing. The, the next step would be to play different notes on different strings while having one open string. So you can play, say for example, I played 10 on the second string, open E string, then continue the roll to eight on the second, and then nine on the third, okay? Okay, you can vary. Uh, you can do as many variations of this. Yeah, you can do eight and seven on the second string and then three, uh, three, nine and seven on the third string. Yeah, and see how that sounds. Okay, this is the roll. Okay, just try to create short licks and then try to connect them together. Now, the country style uh, soloing takes the pentatonic scale most of the time, adds a little bit of the, of the chord tones, the major third or the major seven sometimes, and basically you do something like okay, something like this, only really, really fast. But we're not talking about speed here, we're talking about the, the method. And this takes the banjo method um, into the full scale. So uh, 12, 10 on the E string. And then 12 on the second, enabling you to open the E string. Then you might play strings uh, two and three on 10 and 12. The idea is for the open string to connect your next note uh, and to keep an open sound going. You can go to seven and uh, to eight and nine, or to continue and not finish there. So I'll try a different approach. Hey, with eleven uh, as another uh, tension note. You can use um, the A pentatonic scale, by the way. Okay. Um, you can also use it as kind of a G scale if you use seven on the E string. Okay. The G major or E minor scale. But again, it's all in the tonality and we're just playing, uh, you're just, we're playing around with the technique itself now. No chord progression. So you can play uh, eight on the second string, open E string, then seven on the third, open second, then the same with the fourth and the third, and then the same with the fifth and the um, fourth. Okay, so. And you can go up by playing two frets, uh, two, two strings apart. Okay, seven on the fifth, open third. Then the same with two and four. And then the same with the third and the first. And you can continue. You can also do C major seven. Uh, hey, if you're in a C atmosphere, so. And you can just go down. The, the entire idea is to start a scale from high up and utilize the open strings to jump around the scale. Um, um, got stuck here a little bit. 
because we have no tonality and all I hear is E minor, uh, even though I'm trying to play a different key. So um, the last uh, piece of knowledge I want to import is that you can try really weird stuff with this. You can take a whole different scale and play the open E and B strings with it and then it would sound really interesting. fall back on the classical method. And you might find some interesting things. I'm giving up uh, for this example. I'm. Uh, I feel like I'm wasting your time. So you take all these methods that I just showed you, and uh, you have a backing track backing you up, and you find your own ideas using these three methods. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.